Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today I'm going to be doing another declutter and this is part two of my eyeshadow palettes. So originally I wanted to post this video on Sunday, but on Saturday I got a little puppy. Yes, I did. And I want to show you how tiny he is because three months from now he's going to be so massive. And that's because he's a German Shepherd Belgian Malamal mix. So he's going to be absolutely huge, just like my other dog. And he is following me everywhere and he needs a lot of attention. So this video took a few days to finish editing. So if you would like to see part two of my eyeshadow declutter, then keep on watching. Okay, here is the next container of eyeshadow palettes I'm gonna go through. I believe all of these are Glam Light and Nomad Cosmetics. So this part is more like a collection than a declutter, just because if I get rid of anything, it's not gonna be much at all when it comes to these products in my eyeshadow collection. I'm gonna start off with these Glam Light palettes and the first two are with the collaboration of Icy. So this is the Cherry palette. Now I'm not gonna be getting rid of this palette. I like this one because it's not only reds but it's pinks as well and I really like the shimmers in this palette. Honestly, all of Glam Light's shimmers are really nice. But I also like like these pinky reds down here along with like the bright reds as well. Like everything in this palette is just really nice. I actually did a first impressions on both of these palettes and the blue raspberry palette. Now this one's really pretty for icy looks. And again, like I'm not gonna be getting rid of this one. Oh, I probably should have cleaned my finger off because that swatched purple, but I think you kind of get the point. Yeah, there's no way that I'm willing to declutter either of these palettes. So I also have two palettes from the Hershey Kisses, like the first go around. I think there was like a Hershey's palette collaboration and then the Hershey Kisses collaboration. And I actually only have two palettes. So the Cookies and Cream one is going to be blues. And no, the blues are completely different from the Icy palette. I'll show you real quick. So they are different shades of blues but there's no way I would declutter this one because like the blues are different. And I just really like this one too. So I'm not gonna be decluttering it. And then the Lava Cake palette is going to be all pinks, which is honestly perfect for Valentine's Day. But I'm not gonna be decluttering this one either. Now this is in the collaboration with Barbie. I actually picked this palette up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one or the other. And this palette is absolutely gorgeous. Now I also have the ColourPop Barbie palette as well. Um, I'm honestly, when it comes to that, I will compare both of them because I am gonna keep this one for sure. But if my ColourPop one has similar colors, then I will be decluttering my ColourPop one and just keeping the Glam Light one. Let's watch this one too. Like, how can you not want to keep this palette? Now, as you can see, I do have three Michaela palettes from Glam Light Cosmetics. I actually did a video on both of these. And even in that video, I talked about how I really, at the time, didn't follow Michaela. I still don't follow Michaela and I still don't like Michaela, but I do like these palettes because of the greens and I mean, the formula when it comes to Glam Light is really, really nice. See, I'm gonna swatch this one too. Like, this color is gorgeous. Again, I'm not gonna declutter this palette, so I'm keeping this one. I told you, like, these palettes are mostly a collection part of mine because I don't think I'm gonna be decluttering anything when it comes to Glam Light or Nomad. But you see it has all like the loose bits in here. Well, mine is falling apart. So you can kind of see right here. But all the glitter is coming out, but it's okay because I'm still going to keep it. But yeah, see, I'm, there's no way I'm going to declutter this one. Now, out of the two of them, I do like 
the part two one more, but I'm gonna keep both. And I'm also going to be keeping the 10 pan one because this is mostly grades and this one's really nice as well. Like there's just no way I'm going to be decluttering any of these palettes from Glamlight. I like what I buy from Glamlight, but what I don't like from Glamlight is the shipping time. Like I almost bought the Betty Boop collection, but then I realized yeah, I don't want it 10 weeks from now. I want it within the week or two weeks of purchasing it. Oh yeah, I also have these four palettes from Glamlight. This is when they did the palettes kind of based off of drinks. So this one is the Margarita palette. And this one's just really beautiful and colorful, just a really pretty palette. Keeping this one. And then I have the wine palette. So this one's all purples. I just keep swatching shimmers, but I mean, the shimmers in Glamlight are just amazing. So then the Dirty Martini palette is a green palette, which I will not be decluttering either. And then finally, if I was gonna declutter a palette from Glamlight, it would probably be this Chocolate Martini one. But I like this one too. Like I don't get a lot of use out of it, but it's still really pretty. As I keep swatching the shimmers, I really should swatch some of the mattes as well. Glamlight needs to come out with a multi-chrome palette. I feel like if they had just a palette full of multi-chromes with this formula for their shimmery metallic shades, it would be absolutely worth every penny and the shipping time. All right, Nomad Cosmetics. So I have the Nomad Adventure Park palette. Now I'm not gonna be decluttering a single Nomad Cosmetics palette just because I love the concept of Nomad Cosmetics and I love every single palette I own from Nomad. And honestly, every launch gets me excited when it comes to Nomad Cosmetics. Now, I cannot pronounce this one, but this is the one based off of a location in Colombia. And this is actually my first Nomad Cosmetics palette and like what made me fall in love with it. I like this color story. It's really, really pretty. The quality is really nice as well. Now, this is the Royal Europe palette. This palette is the first palette that had duochromes and multichromes in them. And I love how deep and dark and moody this palette is. And I'm obviously going to be keeping this one. And then this is the Nomad Hudson Valley palette. I love this color story and how it's just a perfect fall palette. And this, I think they recently announced that this palette is actually going to be discontinued soon. And I totally recommend that if you want this to pick it up while you still can. So this is the Whistler Snow Lodge palette. This one, see, I like the blues in this one. I'm gonna be keeping this one. And then this is the palette that's based in France and I'll be keeping this one as well. This is the Paradise Islands palette and I'm sure you've guessed it. I will be keeping this one. So this is the Haunted Europe palette and I saw that they're actually going to be bringing this one back for the fall of 2024. And I'm curious to see if this is gonna be like a different formula or not. Now, obviously I'm gonna be keeping this one, but I'm excited that they're bringing this one back. I like how deep and dark and moody this color story is. This is the Monte Verde palette. And I like how colorful this palette is. During the summer, this is my go-to palette. Now I actually have two of these. So this is my like original one, but recently when I did my first impressions on their most recent launch, they actually watched that video, which was kind of cool, but also <laughs> heard me mentioned how the quality on the Verona palette wasn't that great. And apparently there was issues when it came to like the pressing of the shadows for this palette. So they actually sent me a new one. So I will be decluttering my old one and keeping my new one, but I don't know if that really counts. 
but I swatched the new one and it's already much better than the one I purchased a year ago. So technically I'm decluttering this, but technically I'm not. <sighs> All right, so now I wanna start on my ColourPop. Now I am not one of these people who collect a, I don't collect every ColourPop launch. I don't buy every single product from every collection when it comes to ColourPop. I buy what I like. And then I also have some items from mystery boxes. I've done a couple of the ColourPop mystery boxes. I, my experience with them were okay, but some of the palettes are from mystery boxes, some that I just felt like I needed to have, or they're collaborations that I really like have nostalgic value to, to be quite honest. So the first one is in the collaboration with Snow White. I did a first impressions on this collection when it came out. And this is actually one of the few collections that I bought every product from. And the reason is, is because my mom loves Snow White. So I bought it for myself and for my mom. And I really enjoyed this palette and I'm definitely gonna be keeping it because the color story is just perfect for Snow White. And I am a Disney adult as well. So I'm keeping this one. Now this is one I'm on the fence. So this is the palette Plush Like Me. And it is like this moody 90s grunge kind of vibe when it comes to a color story for an eyeshadow palette. But the thing is I got this in a mystery box and I still haven't used it. So I'm actually gonna be putting this in my maybe bin because even though I really like the color story, I think I have a few palettes that are similar in color story to this one. Now, Lush Life is one of my favorite ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I love the color story in here and it's perfect for the summer. I, I just, the greens and blues and the oranges, like I love it. So I will be keeping this. Like this green though is so, so pretty. Along with this orange too, I'm gonna swatch that too. Like I'm keeping this. Like there's no way I would not be able to keep it. So Cabana Club is one of the palettes that I've gotten in a mystery box and I haven't really used it yet, but it is really pretty. Honestly, I like the six shades over here. Like swap this pink out for this yellow and then I like it. Like the other shades are kind of boring to me, but I'm gonna keep this because it is really pretty. And I like, like the color story is perfect for the summertime. When I mentioned I bought collections because of nostalgia, this is one of those collections. So this is the collaboration with Sailor Moon, like the first go around. And this is the Pretty Guardian palette. And as you can tell, it is is well loved and been well used. And I'm gonna keep it because I love Sailor Moon. Now, I mentioned earlier that I'm gonna compare the color stories of this palette to my Glam Light one, because if these colors are in my Glam Light palette, then I don't need to keep this. Uh, this is, this definitely looks different. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be keeping both for sure. These are all my green nine pan palettes from ColourPop. So I have Just My Luck, Fresh Greens, which this is one I purchased at Target. And then I also have Mint To Be. Now, even though these are all green shadows, they're all different. And I will be keeping all three of these palettes. So here are the rest of my ColourPop eyeshadow palettes, including all of my Star Wars ones. And I'm gonna start off with the Star Wars ones, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not decluttering any of them. Star Wars is one of my favorite franchises, and there's no way. So here is the Star Wars palette. I believe this one's just based off of A New Hope. It has A New Hope's artwork on there, but I'm going to be keeping this along with the Mandalorian palettes. Now, the Mandalorian is actually one of my favorite TV shows that have come out of Star Wars. I mean, I love it so much that my phone case is the Mandalorian. Darth Vader, which is my favorite character from Star Wars, so I will be keeping this palette. And of course, I have the child palette because I can't just have the Mandalorian palette without having the child. The only one that I'm missing is the C-3PO palette. And honestly, it sits in my ColourPop cart. Like the next time I order from ColourPop, I will be picking up the C-3PO palette. Now this is a nine pan from Target called Muse Moment. 
And you can tell, I picked this up because I like the greens in here, but this is a really nice, simple palette and I'll be keeping it. I will also be keeping the Blow and Smoke nine pan palette along with the Lilac You a lot. Now I have two palettes from Animal Crossing. This one is the LaBelle of the Ball and I will be keeping this one. And then I also have the Nook palette. I will be keeping this one as well. Now I'm actually gonna be decluttering this palette. And this is, I believe from a Valentine's collection. This is the 143 palette. And this shade is coming, is falling apart and coming out. And honestly, this is the only shade I like in the palette. But I have this shade in Glam Light Barbie palette, the ColourPop Barbie palette, and so many other palettes that I don't need to keep this little five pan palette for that one shade that's falling out. So where I stored my ColourPop palettes, I had these two palettes in the same drawer. And this one's from Ace Beauty. And this is the Nostalgia palette. This has a really pretty color story. And I really want to use this and I never reach for it. So if I don't reach for it this summer, then I won't be keeping it, but I'm gonna keep it for now. Now this Care Bear palette I will be keeping, and I think I've already mentioned this in a video, like a different declutter, probably like the highlighter declutter, but I'm gonna keep this. My dog that passed away in December used to carry Care Bears around the house, and I'm keeping this palette because of Bella. All right, finally, I'm gonna get to some products that I am willing to declutter. Starting off with all of these Jeffree Star single shades. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna declutter all six of these single shadows that I've gotten from mystery boxes that I've never opened, never used. I'm not keeping these. I'm also gonna declutter these two Ace Beauty single shadows. So I have this pink shade, and I believe these are called glimmer shadows. So I have this pink one along with this silver one. So I'm gonna declutter both. I'm also going to declutter this KVD single shadow. I think this is from a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. This is in the shade Lolita. Uh, I don't need it. Now I am gonna keep all five of my MAC single shadows from the Selena collection. I'm keeping these. All right, I know this is a bit of a mess, but these are all of my single shadows from Super Shock Shadows to Liquid Shadows. Kind of just, oh, and including these Danessa Myricks Chrome Flakes. So right off the bat, I want to go ahead and see, I have a bunch of these Stila's, and I think we all remember when these were pretty popular, but these are the Stila Liquid Shadows. I mean, these were such a hot commodity. Like everybody was talking about these in like 2017, 2018. I have five of them. So this one right here swatches really nicely. It doesn't have a funky smell. So I like the color of this. I really wish I would reach for these products more often. This one's in the shade Lilac Legend. I'm gonna keep this one. This one right here, I'm gonna keep this one too. This one's in the shade Spellbound. I like this one a lot because it has that black base. This one is in the shade Charmed. And this one's chunky and dried out. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This one's really chunky too and dried up. So I'm gonna be decluttering Mythical. And the last one I have is in the shade Ballet Baby. This one's dried out. So I'm gonna keep two out of five of them. And honestly, like look how beautiful that one is. This one needs to be at my vanity, like ASAP. So I have five liquid shadows from Huda Beauty and these are actually all duos. So there's matte on one side and then shimmer on the other. So the first one I have is in the shade Silk Bomber and Bubblegum. And honestly, I'm looking, this doesn't look hopeful to me. These look dried up. Okay, so surprisingly, it's not dried up. So if these aren't dried up, I'm gonna keep them. So I'm keeping this one. So out of five of my Huda Beauty ones, only one of them is like dried up and gross. And that is the shade Bamboo Hoops and Faux Fur. So I'm gonna declutter this one, but I'm actually gonna keep the rest of them. Now I have this About Face 
eye crayon. I'm not a fan of products like this. So I'm gonna swatch it if I can find some space. Okay, that swatches really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I like About Face and maybe I'll reach for this. I don't know, I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile. So I have five About Face fluid eye paints, the matte ones. I'm gonna keep all five of these. I know all five of these are still in great condition because I use these often. Now I do have three of the fractal eye paints from About Face. So these ones are shimmery metallic ones. And I know the packaging's changed, but they all still, like, they all still feel good in the packaging. So I'm gonna keep all of them. I'm also gonna keep all five of my Chrome Flakes from Danessa Myricks. I have the shades Laser Beam, Sweet Tooth, Superstar, Strobe Light, and then I also have the shade Pride. So this is a Danessa Myricks Twin Flames Liquid Shadow. This is a small sample size. Oh, and the component's broken. So I'm gonna just go ahead and declutter it. I have one Pat McGrath Chroma Lux Artistry Pigment, and that's because it is from the Star Wars collaboration. This is in the shade Rogue Rebellion. It is a beautiful, beautiful red. And I'm going to be keeping this because it's Pat McGrath and Star Wars. So these are all of my Super Shock Shadows and I'm gonna be keeping every single one of them. So I have one, two, three are from, Ho from Hocus Pocus collaboration. Then I have seven from the collaboration with Peeps. This one is in collaboration with Animal Crossing. And I believe the rest I have picked up at Target. These are all of my cake liners. Now I know that before I was going through each product one by one, but now that I'm gonna be going through my eyeliners, I'm gonna make this simple, easy, and quick. I'm not gonna be swatching all of these, but I do know that I'm going to be keeping all of my Suva ones or Suvia, however you pronounce it. So I have four of the Suva palettes. So I have UV Grunge, Hydra Space, UV Brights, and UV Taffies. Obviously the ones that say UV glow under black light but I'm gonna be keeping all of these. I do enjoy, you, I mean, you can tell they're messy. I enjoy using these cake liners. So this Make It UV from Suva is basically you put it on top of anything you've laid down and it makes it UV. It is clear, or if you just keep kind of layering it, it becomes white. I will be keeping this and I'll be keeping every single one of these. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 Suva individual liners. So some of these are UV, some of these are just solid colors, and then a few of them are metallics. These two from ABH I'm going to be decluttering. I do not like the formula of the ABH cake liners, and that is because they're sticky. They stay tacky, they never dry down. And even though I kind of like the packaging, they're not worth keeping. These are all of my colored liners. Now I have black ones at my desk and I don't feel like it's necessary to, to pull out my black liquid liners because I'm gonna be keeping the black ones. These are ones that I don't use very often. And I'm not gonna go through each one individually. I'm just gonna quickly sort out in two piles which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm decluttering. All right. I am going to be keeping 16 crayon liners. So some of these are neon, some of these are shimmer. Yes, there is Marc Jacobs one in here, but I have swatched all of these and these all swatch nicely. And I'm gonna be decluttering 10. These all are dried up or I don't like the color or the quality of them. So I'm decluttering 10 liners. I'm keeping both of these. These are actually face stamps from ColourPop and they're both hearts. One's red, one's pink. And then these are five liquid liners from ColourPop and I will be keeping all five of these. Now I am decluttering a liquid liner. This one's from KVD and this 
has like no pigment and I just opened it. I'm pretty sure it's from like a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. So it's not worth keeping. I'm decluttering it. And then I will be keeping th all three of these melt liners. I actually have two more at my vanity, but these are gel liners and I'll be keeping these. I realized when I was going through all of my super shock shadows, I completely forgot about two drawers of makeup that are stored a little bit differently than the rest of my makeup. And that's because I have a, I have a drawer for Halloween makeup and a drawer for holiday themed makeup. So here are all of my Halloween themed palettes along with a couple of Valentine palettes over here. So the first one right here is the Book of Enchantment Artistry Palette from Spellbound Beauty. I don't believe this brand exists anymore, which is really sad because I really enjoyed the aesthetic of the brand and the color story of this palette is really pretty. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Let me swatch a couple shades first just to make sure. I do like that red. Oh no, compared to some of my other palettes, it's not very vibrant. So I am gonna go ahead and declutter this palette. So I have all three of the ColourPop Hocus Pocus collaboration palettes and collections, to be honest. So this one is Witching Hour. And this is the second collection that ColourPop did with Hocus Pocus. Not from Hocus Pocus 2, but just from like the first movie. But I am gonna be keeping this one. Honestly, I'm gonna be keeping all of my Hocus Pocus palettes. So this is the first collection with Hocus Pocus. This is Gather Round Sisters. This is my least favorite palette out of all of them. Even though this one's deep and grungy, I really enjoy the one after this. Now this one is my favorite. So this is the collabor This is for the second Hocus Pocus movie. I love the colors in here. I like the greens, the purples, and the oranges. This one definitely got a, a lot of use over the last two Halloweens but I am going to be keeping all of them, like I mentioned earlier. So these are my two palettes from Gourmand Girls or Gourmand Girls. So this is Spooked, and both of these palettes are actually in collaboration with Doodles by the Bunny. I am going to be keeping both of these. I honestly wanna get the I think it's like Silent Night palette that Gourmand Girls did with Doodles by the Bunny. I like the, the blue tones for a winter palette. So this one is Night Shade. I also think there is a third Halloween palette that I didn't end up picking up and I am sure I will pick it up because I like the formula of these palettes. So I'm sure the other palette that they came out with, which I think is Haunted, I would love just as much. So this is the Love Struck Cupid's Arrow eyeshadow palette from Bella & Co Cosmetics. I am gonna go ahead and declutter this. I've never used it, but these glitters right here, I can tell you right now, they're those glitters that just kind of fall apart. They don't stay on your eyes, and I really don't want my eyeballs scratched, so I'm going to declutter this. I'm also gonna declutter this. I think this palette is boring. It was such a waste of money. I did do a video on it, but this is like Kylie Cosmetics Valentine palette. I have no idea what it's called because there's no title on this palette whatsoever. It is from a few years ago, but oh, that pink is pretty though. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my maybe pile. And I'm only doing that because I like this color and this color. So I'm actually gonna go through my collection and see if I have two shades that are similar to those, where I would wanna keep it. And then finally, these are my Christmas holiday themed palettes. I have two from Odin's Eye. So I have the Merry Christmas palette, which this palette is absolutely gorgeous. I really want to purchase more products from Odin's Eye. I saw that they recently came out with a collection that's really pretty for the spring. Oh look, there's that pink shade that I was talking about for that Kylie Cosmetics. So definitely gonna keep this palette over that one. But the shimmers, like everything about these palettes are really, really nice. Then this palette is the Christmas Eve palette with the pretty blues. You got a couple purple shades in here, a little bit of yellow. This one's really nice too. So I will be keeping both of these. I also have the Peanuts and Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. 
This is the Merry Christmas Charlie Brown palette, and I'm just gonna keep it because I think it's really cute, okay? It's probably not the best quality. Oh, that green is really nice though. But I think it's cute, so I'm keeping it. I have the Nightmare Before Christmas palette, which I am a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas, and I will be keeping this one as well. Also from ColourPop, I have the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer palette. This one was just re-released for this past holiday season, and I'm so glad that they re-released it because I was able to pick up products from this collection that I wish I got. And I like pulling this out every Christmas and playing with it. Last palette. So this is from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Santa's Village palette. This one has four mattes and five topper shades, but a lot of people thought these were glitters and then were slightly disappointed that they were not very pigmented, and that's because it is a topper shade. I like this one as well, so I will be keeping it. So that is my second part of my declutter. My third and final part of my eyeshadow declutter will be all of my high-end makeup palettes, such as Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, or any brands that you can pick up at Sephora, and I don't know if that will be a declutter video or more of the rest of my collection, but if you would like to see that, then go ahead and subscribe. But until next time, bye y'all. Look how cute my puppy is. No? What's wrong, Brody? Aww. You're so cute, yes you are. See, I'm so cute. I'm so cute, yes I am.